I'm Dave Tarrant. I'm the trainer and data scientist here at the Open Data Institute. Open data is not always easy to find. We as humans consume things visually, and so we like looking at pretty web pages and images on these web pages that cue us to where we can get data from and download it. Computers don't operate in this way. They like structure, logic, clarity, and mainly text. So the challenge for us is to understand how a machine likes to consume data and be able to get into its mindset to be able to excavate this hidden data. The web is a data-rich environment, and many websites already bring together data from various different sources in order to present you with a collated set of information. So think of planning a holiday. Many holiday websites already bring together a rich amount of location data, pictures, reviews, prices, uh, and maybe even transport data that allow you to plan your route to get to a certain place. So what we want to be able to do is realise that we can exploit these same data connections that exist between the websites so that we can get access to the data ourselves to present it in a whole new context, to build a new set of information and thus a new set of knowledge. Some websites give you access to data simply by adding an extension to the end of the page you are on. So if you can see that there may be some sort of data on the page, you might be able to add like a .csv to the end of the page and it might download you some data. One of the most common formats online is actually the, the JSON format and you can get access to all of the data off of gov.uk by adding a .json to the end. Other websites might give you feeds of data, such as news websites, and we're used to consuming these within mobile applications. Beyond these, it gets a little more tricky. Some data you may have to look for um, from the source code of the page where it's been embedded. These websites are already using it, so you may as well look for it within the page itself. Finally, many sources of data give you a specific way to access it, a machine interface or an API, so you might have to learn how to use one of these. So by using data that's already an integral part of an existing service, you can guarantee a higher quality of relevance and usability. Additionally, you're accessing it in the context in which it's already used, rather than through a separate publication platform.